So the issue with the bypass on this particular type of throttle uh, is that the motor controls the actual throttle. The blade doesn't seem to move for the entire three quarters, the first three quarters that is of throttle movement. And that's largely due to this guy right here. This little cam starts way up at the top here, as you can see, and it travels that much before it even gets to this. And as you can see, once that gets pushed, you can hear a bunch of crap going on, right? If you look at it, if I have full control of it, I can get that blade to open. Can you see that blade? Yeah, there's that blade. Okay. So, that noise you're hearing is coming from this side here, where the actual throttle position sensor is. So if we look at these here guts, now you can see when you move that throttle, this is all that noise you're hearing. See that? That little motor there controls all of this. But your computer decides when this here clutch is going to engage so that it'll give you the limp home mode where this piece fails. I believe that space is there so that the computer can see the throttle request sensor and follow suit with what it thinks is the request you're giving, which in turn sends the throttle position information through the throttle position sensor. There we are. Through this dude, which is actually the throttle position sensor. And I know there's a mod on the market, maybe even more than one that I'm aware of, that uh, actually takes up for that piece. Now another issue here is that you're moving this motor, if you, be, if you turn this manual, you're moving this motor and you're also leaving yourself open to this motor trying to control the throttle while you are too. Sure that would be a nightmare. So most people say, take out this gear and you're done, right? Now you're done, got the whole thing. Well to me, anything that's bouncing around in there needs to come out. You don't want all this crap in there. Don't forget these little nylon bushings either. Now you've got a very light manual throttle on this side, which is fine and dandy, but now there's still the matter of all this slack you've got to take up in this sensor here. This is how it fits. And again, as you can see, now you've got the problem of this much slop before you actually even get the throttle to move. Okay. Again, I'll say somebody makes a mod that actually, I guess, set screw grabs this and it makes a little nub that goes around in the edge here. Well, these holes you see are from a tiny drill bit that I used. And uh, the company that normally sells the kind that screws it on is back ordered. And I just don't want to wait. I'm going to put the real deal in there one day, but for now, this was my solution. This is pretty much just a bent screw flattened on one side with a slot cut into it and a tiny little hole drilled through it. Here's what I did. I attached that to this little widget here. Comb saw, as the Cajun says. So now I've got this little push rod of sorts that makes that flat edge even closer to that now. In fact, butt it up right against it. Now it took grinding this, it took cutting this piece a little bit bigger than what I needed and grinding it down little by little until I had no slack left. That is, it was so long it was opening the throttle at rest. 
Now I've got it to where the throttle is closed and this is butted up right against it. So now this piece will fit in there and line up with all of that. But that hole there needs to have something in it to hold it together. Even though it's a pretty tight fit already, I don't trust it that way. So the way I'm going to put these two things together is with a tiny little piece of nail that was tapered with the grinder. So if you taper it just right and make it just long enough, you could drive it into that hole there. So now it's in there and it's tight enough to where you can kind of tug on it with your fingernails and it ain't moving. Doesn't really need to be that much tighter than that, I wouldn't think. Because the way it goes in here, see I'm gonna have to push it out a little bit. The way it goes in here, I'm gonna kind of put it at an angle that way so get it in there and then stage it to where it's set. There we go. So now we have full manual control of this throttle. See there, when you start, I can't physically hold the camera and open this throttle with all the screws off of it. But you can see that as soon as I start moving it, the throttle also starts moving. So that's the poor man's mod version of defeating the ETCSI throttle by flyby whatever that seems to always go limp when you're trying to uh, run these VVTI engines on something other than stock information toward the computer. Anyway, uh, hope that helps somebody.